Good morning, friends. Um, it is Tuesday, November 8th. It is election day. And shit's going crazy on the social media, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know about you guys, but by the time you see this, the election will be over. But I am fucking over this election. I like, cannot even tell you. Because I'm not excited about Hillary. Like, um, I'm excited to have a first woman president, that's for sure. But I'm not very excited about Hillary and... Um, Obviously, I'm just voting. I'm voting for her because I'm voting against Trump. So I'm just, I'm just excited for Trump to be done, which I'm pretty sure he's going to be. Hopefully, I have more faith in my country to not elect that moron. I was just talking with Alex um, from Learning to Be Fearless. I'm not sure if you guys watch her, but you should because she is awesome. I love her so much. But we were just texting and talking about how, like, so a lot of YouTubers don't share their political beliefs. And it's totally, like, kind of a risk for us because we'll lose, you know, I've lost a lot of Trump supporters this year, that's for sure. Anyway, um, I'm at the Starbucks drive-thru right now. I really want to see these new cups that everyone's freaking out over, these, like, diversity cups. So we'll see. Guys, how disappointing. I didn't even get the fucking cup. Fail. Fail. I really wanted to see that cup, but whatever. It's just a fucking cup. <laughs> anyway, I'm headed back to Film Talk Tuesday. I'm going to be talking about my thoughts of the election today, so it should be fun to film. I love talking about politics. If you haven't already catched on to that, catched on, caught on. I don't know what I have, but I have the sickness of just feeling shitty, and I can't explain why. I don't know what's going on with me. I just have been feeling like crap since Friday. Achy and tired and like just not in a fucking mood and feel kind of like feverish. My stomach's bothering me, my throat's bothering me. But I'm about to suck it up and film anyway. So wish me luck. I filmed Historic, my video. But also, let me turn this babbling off. The first polls close in an hour. Um, and I am so, so excited to watch this shit be over. I'm so over it. I just saw the most hilarious picture of Donald Trump looking at, like, peeking over at Melania's, um, ballot. <laughs> like, to make sure she fucking voted for him. This is just, you can't even make this shit up. This has been the weirdest election. Relection? I can't even talk anymore. This has been fucking off the charts, though, and I, I'm so excited for this to end. So many it's already so looking grim for Trump. In that state. What yes! Which is good news. Yeah. Yeah, I mean Florida and then North Carolina, and Pennsylvania, and the the battleground states. Lily, stop it. Tessa, but yeah, we're just hanging out watching. Uh, CNN yeah, coverage of the election and the eating some guacamole. So, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't worried about it at all. I'm on edge right now. It's freaking me out. 197 to 131. Trump. Trump won Florida. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. I cannot. I cannot believe. I'm so glad we didn't move there. I feel like sick to my stomach. I can't even eat dinner. I like, honestly feel like I'm gonna cry. lose the House and the Senate. The presidency, the House, the Senate. If this is because people Governors. didn't vote, I seriously, I just want to move. I'm so done with this fucking country. Oh my god, this is pissing me off so bad. It freaks me out so bad. That's what I think. Yeah. I can't even talk. What's she saying? What's she saying? Vote for somebody that can't possibly be president. You don't care about these presidents. Yeah, seriously. Josh is going in fetal position. I just you know, can't believe this is happening. Like, this I'm is so fucking scared. Out there voting for, for, I mean, it's not. It's just not. Uh, and you look at where these folks are coming from, and you look at who lives in this area. These are over, overwhelmingly white areas. People of color. I have nothing well, to I say. I, I I'm so nervous. I mean, she sells a chance, but it's like also been another earlier indicator to the Clinton so campaign. Close. It's crazy. I'm like, it's. They may have had some... Josh just told me that 15,000 people wrote in Harambe, the dead gorilla, as president. I'm in shock. That is just so fucking bizarre. 15,000 is like as many people watch this Fog Channel. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Babe, how are you not dying right now? I can't believe this shit. I am so, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm going into fucking like crazy ass mode. I just have no idea what's going on. I just don't even, I want to go to sleep for like three days. I don't even think I can film tomorrow. Like I might even cancel my videos this week. I'm so done. Hey guys. So it is um Thursday now. 
Tuesday morning and the last time you saw me I was really upset. I actually decided to stop vlogging because I started crying and reality started setting in and yesterday I sulked all day. I did nothing. I literally laid and I, ne I didn't get out of bed till Josh got home from work at 5. I'm offended as a woman. I'm offended as an American by him. Um, the DNC made a mistake with her. I think I mean, I'm not sure if Bernie would have won, but I think he would have had a better chance. So anyway, um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about politics on this vlog because it's just upsetting and there's nothing we can do anymore. Never ever would have thought that when I was at Bernie's rally last spring that um, I'd be sitting here with President Donald Trump. So, if you've seen the, the millennial map, we are so much more progressive, our generation. Like I said, not gonna talk about politics anymore. Right now, I am headed to go get my hair cut. Hair cut and color that I scheduled a long time ago. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna do just like some more blonde highlights, um, just more of a stronger ombre look. I don't know how much of a difference you can see um, in this lighting, but like when it's in natural sun, I'll have to show you again. I am obsessed. I wanted more, uh, more of a difference, more ombre, um, but not anything too like dramatic. I wanted it to still look natural. Um, and it it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so thrilled. She did an amazing amazing job Like I am so happy with it. So um, her her name is Sonia and the salon I think is called Deville something. I don't know I'll write it below so you guys I found it on a group on um, and I want you guys if you live in Denver to go see her um, She was amazing. The cut is good. It just looks so much healthier so I'm on my way to therapy with my mom and I was driving I was backing out of the garage and look what I did I backed right mirror right into the garage so there we go at least I can see now that is so bad dude Ugh. So good news, Josh wasn't that mad at me for fucking up the car because he fucked it up too. Yeah, I scraped I like, the front of it. Yeah, you can't, we both have. So <laughs> it kind of works, we'll just put a claim in for both. Yeah, it's hopefully, on the same side. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but. Whatever, shit happens and today was a shitty day. I was just so distracted. It was my first day back in reality after the Trump won, so. Um, but yeah, it just sucks that we just caught that car. <laughs> Oh, anyway, we're gonna go to the gym. We've been talking about the election for the past like two hours since Josh got home and feel a little better. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to be positive. And so we need to give him a chance. That's the only thing that you can do is <laughs> give the Trump really a chance. Him a speech right now? Yeah, well, I, people look to me for like my opinion on it because I've spoken about this. And people are feeling sad and scared and minorities feel terrified and yeah. LGBT community. I don't blame them, but I think we're going to see a different Donald and I think so too. I don't think he's as ridiculous as he like portrays. He used to be, uh, he used to be a, a Democrat. Yeah. A few years ago. He was pro-choice. He was much more level-headed. So yeah. maybe, maybe we'll see. I mean, he seemed kind of presidential today. I mean, I'm horrified obviously but you know you got to try to be positive about it and maybe maybe you know I'm gonna give him a chance until he gives me a reason to fight against him but we'll see so I thought a lot while I was working out I always think a lot um, and I thought a lot about the election and how angry I've been feeling like literally like depressed yesterday like I said I didn't get out of bed and today I was so grumpy I even picked a fight with Josh over literally nothing and had to apologize so I needed a good workout because I was in a shit hey mood. Um, and when I was working out, I was trying to think about it. And I decided I'm not going to make any any more videos this week. I was going to like do a video talking about Trump. I, my video plans this week were supposed to, I was supposed to do a video on moon signs for tonight. And then for Sunday, I was going to do the drunk reacting to my own videos video. I changed it once this happened because it didn't feel, I just could not get myself to just make like a, a video about astrology or a funny video like not feeling funny and I was thinking about it when I was working out I was like you know what I think I need like a solid week off of the internet like so many people are making these videos about Trump and their thoughts and it's it's so soon the wound is so soon like 
the wound is so soon that makes no sense but like the wound is fresh and I need time to think about it and accept reality really think about how I can be positive about this because being negative about it's not gonna get us anywhere in four years is not that bad I mean, I'm, ash I'm ashamed that he's president. It, I'm, I feel so bad for people that he has offended. And as a woman, I feel just terrible that this is my leader. And I don't know how how to be positive, but I want to think about it. And I want to think about just how I'm feeling about the whole thing. And um, I'm going to just do a video on Talk Tuesdays because I know all of you guys want to know, like, my thoughts and everything. I'm not happy about it, clearly, but... I think there might be a silver lining, and I think there's a silver lining in everything. And maybe if we try to see it in a different way, we can try to see the good in this. And that maybe that four years will be much more progressive. Um, you know, the millennial vote, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's this map going around. I tweeted it, but it's about what the map would have looked like if only millennials voted ages 18 to 25 and it was very hopeful i feel very positive about the future next four years not so much but you know i don't want to do what mitch mcconnell and the gop did to obama for years i don't want to i don't expect people to to just accept it right away because it's horrible it's horrible for a lot of people it's devastating I don't know how I would feel if I was Mexican. I don't know how I would feel if I was Muslim. I don't know how I would feel if I was gay. But my sister is. <laughs> and she's pretty fucking pissed. And I don't blame her. And I'm, I'm pissed for her. But I think in the long term that maybe we can try to actually work together instead of just having deadlock. <clears throat> we'll have to see. That's my current thoughts on it. I'm going to take just some time off. I just need time to just think. Um, before I speak my mind on it. So that's it for me today, guys.